hello everyone welcome to channel geek nepal today i'll be working on a shift register okay there are two different kinds of shift register shift register forward and reverse okay uh, there are, are 128 have shift register starting with r0 to r127 okay you can use any of the shift register in between r0 to r127 okay so you can start at 2 or you can start at 0 or you can start from 127 for the negative okay so let's begin by adding a normally open contact here okay and let's add a shift register forward okay and let's add a normally open contact here let's add a normally open contact here let's add a output coil here okay so this one is output coil let's define this as zero okay let's say this one is i zero okay this one is i1 okay this one is i2 so this shift register only works based on the uh, pulse input okay even if the pulse is on for a long time it would only shift one bit um, it does not depend on the data inputs okay and this is for reset r for reset p for the pulse or uh, and d for data inputs okay already let's add a normally open contact and output coil mm, let's define this before and this one let's say is a register r let's start with r0 yeah you can start the r1 no matter what okay and let's say this one is a re data register output q0 q1 q0 has been already used okay so i want to do copy this so trlc and paste it here Let's say this is R1. Okay. And this is. Oh, we don't have to do that. Just two. Okay. So I also want to add a normally open contact and add a move instruction. Okay. So based on the output Q0. Okay. okay what we want to do is we want to move the shift register r0 this r0 is a single bit register so it does not have expansion here okay i'll show you on the next here data register is a 16 bit memory okay so it has 16 bit okay 0 to 15 okay okay let's draw a line here goes to here CTRLC V draw a line V draw a line CTRLV okay let's deselect this R0 let's make it 1 let's make it 1 okay let's make this safe register 2 2 okay 0 1 2 0 1 2 this one is 3 and this one is 3 okay this one oh this one has not been defined let's say we'll be using r0 to r3 right 
R0, R1, R2, R3. So the preset would be 4. Okay. Uh, R1 to 3, 0, 1 to 3. This R register is a single bit memory. D is a D0, D1, D2, D3 is a word 16 bit memory register. So you'll see the difference when we simulate this program. Okay initially it has the raw data from before so i just want to delete this actually set to zero and double okay let's make it zero as well okay so we have all these data registered zero okay and let's send it once the pulse is triggered the register r0 is one now okay Let's turn it off. Okay. So when the pulse is given, we have two move to R zero move to one. So has value one here. R zero has two. Okay. So so if we move this one more time with the data input it does not work because it has to have a pulse input so the output will be turned on okay so basically now here five two one okay so how do you get five and two here you know the binary of is the binary of one is one the binary of three is one and one the binary of two is one and zero so let's reset this one more time and you will see okay so here one okay one more time three okay this one will move to zero here and this three will move to one here okay and so we we'll, at the end we'll have one three five and oh no one three seven and fifteen okay let's do it here 137 okay now 15 okay the main reason here these 137 and 15 are the um, decimal values if you convert this to binary that would be 1111111111 okay so basically that's how you shift the registers I mean single bit registers okay so If you want to uh, do the reverse of the register you can do that as well by defining this uh, here oh we are still in simulation mode let's go back to so it will be 4 starting pressure of uh, 4 4 3 2 1 no, uh, 3 2 1 0 okay so that's how you do it and three two one zero so basically you can move the bits from r0 r1 r2 r3 or you can move from r4 r3 r2 r0 or you also can start from r127 wherever you want okay that's how the shift register works in idec plc and thank you so much for your time i'll see you on the next